What is up people, Fire here from AwesomeDudes.com and before you start with this video, just quickly, I wanted to tell you that you can go on my website here, AwesomeDudes.com and then you can go under download free assets and there you can download free assets. Now these are commercial free assets, they are not assets for this tutorial. The assets for this tutorial, this dark cave, you can find, link is in the description below so you can get them from that link. But these are other commercial free assets that you can use to develop your own games and you have 3D assets, 2D assets, backgrounds and whatnot and I keep adding new and new stuff. So you should definitely check this out and yeah, enjoy the video. Now is the time for us to take a break from all the skeletons and the diamonds and the platforms and create our main menu scene. For that I am gonna go in the scenes folder and I am gonna click on the file and I'm gonna click on this new scene or hold command and press N or if you are on Windows hold control and press N. So now that we have a new scene, right away I am going to save it by holding command and pressing S on Windows Control S or you can go under file and save the scene and I'm going to save it in the scenes folder and this is going to be main menu, so main menu and I'm going to hit enter and that is that. So first things first, we are going to add the background to our main menu and for that we are going to use the Unity's UI system. So I'm going to go under object and UI and I'm going to create an image. So game object, UI, and then click on the image, not raw image, but only the image. Now, as you can see, we have the canvas created and notice where the image is and notice how big the canvas is. This is our camera. So this is our camera here and notice how big the canvas is. Of course, if we go here, we will see the image clearly, but this, what you see here, all depends on the canvas render mode. So I'm going to click on the canvas and here we have a couple of render modes. My favorite one is the screen space camera. If you want to know a little bit more in detail about what every of these render modes represent, you have that in Unity documentation. They have a separate video created only for this, so I'm not going to explain it. But I'm going to create here screen space camera and I'm going to attach the main camera here. And notice now the canvas is much smaller and also notice this cube is right here or this is going to be our image. So I'm going to name it BG and I'm going to position it 0, 0 for the X and for the Y just so that it is right here in the center. And now I am going to filter for the source image. I am going to filter for BG which is our menu BG and this is the one that I have or that I want. Now this is the size of our manual BG but that is not a problem. I can simply click here set native size and it is gonna resize it to its fullest like this. If I go now here this is that image. So what we are also gonna add here is a button and a text. So I'm gonna select the canvas go under here game object UI and I'm gonna create text and I'm gonna position it here, just resize it something like this and I am gonna set the alignment at the middle. You can do all of that here in the inspector panel. I'm also gonna change the color of the text to white and I am gonna zoom in a little bit. This is our text. We can now resize the font but before that here in the font for the category or excuse me here below the character it says font. Currently it's Arial. I'm gonna select Mr. Sunshine which is actually the one here in our fonts. This is the font that I have imported. So this is the font and that I want to use also. So this is gonna be our text well for the game and here we are gonna write dark cave and I'm gonna resize a little bit so resize the font something like this let me just take a look at it here in our game view dark cave I think this is okay let me just put it a little bit below somewhere around here and we are good to go also the last thing that we need is a button so I'm gonna filter here under game object I'm gonna go UI and I'm gonna create a button and I'm gonna remove the text that's in our button and I'm gonna name it to start and let me just position the button so first I'm gonna take it position it zero zero and actually we should not delete the text excuse me so put the text back. So if you deleted the text you can delete the button. So delete the button and go under game object UI and select a new button and here it is. I'm gonna reposition it zero zero and a little bit down 
and now I'm gonna rename it to start and I am gonna change the source image to button. So simply now filter to button and here it is. When I click here to set the native size, this is what we have, but we are not gonna leave our button as big as this. I am gonna resize a little bit, something like this. And now we can reposition it here and we are good to go. Also, before we are done, I am gonna take the text and I am gonna change the color. So let me just change the color of the text to white and I'm going to change the font to Mr. Sunshine, resize it and it is going to be start. So I'm going to say start here and let me just reposition our button a little bit here or the text, excuse me, because I want to resize the font. It can be like this, I think. Yeah, it is okay. Let me just font size. This is it. This is it for our game. I think this is going to be okay. If I run the game now, we are going to be able to press the start button. As you can see, it's being highlighted and whatnot. So we are good to go. Everything is okay. And yeah, this is for creating our main menu. It is simple as this. Next, we are going to see how we can navigate between menus and what we need to do to make that happen. So I will catch you then, guys.